We already spoke about chronic, uh, we already spoke about viral hepatitis, but under the viral hepatitis, I forgot to put the types, okay? The types being, yeah, the type B based on causes, hepatitis A, B, C, D, E, F, okay? But the cause, the type being based on duration, like how long it has been there, is where we are having chronic and acute. You know, chronic is something that has been there for a very long time. Why acute is something that just started within a short time, okay? So on that basis, we get to look at chronic and acute viral hepatitis. Just simple, okay? So we said that for chronic viral hepatitis, this chronic one is something that has been there for a long time. So there's a long-term inflammation on the liver, which is caused by what? Persistent infections. The infections has been there, okay? So it could either be hepatitis B, C, or D. You could see that there's no hepatitis E or A. So that means what? Hepatitis A and E cannot cause a chronic viral hepatitis, okay? So it can actually lead to a serious liver damage because the infection has been there for a very long time. So it can lead to other liver function uh, problems like what? Liver cirrhosis, liver failure, liver cancer, okay? So many people with chronic hepatitis may not show symptoms for years because it's there for a very long time. But when they start showing symptoms, probably they are at the end stage, you understand? Then the acute one is simply what? Something that has been there for a short while, okay? So acute viral hepatitis is a sudden inflammation of the liver caused by infections with one of the five virals. So all the different types of what? Hepatitis virus can cause you an acute one, infection. Okay, so the A, B, C, D, E, all can cause acute, okay? So symptoms range from what? Mild to severe. And the symptoms may include things like what? Fatigue, nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, dark urine, jaundice, okay? Jaundice, which is what? Yellowing of the skin and eyes, okay? So most cases of acute hepatitis resolve on their own, but some progress toward chronic hepatitis, okay? So what are the key differences? The key difference is basically on the duration, all right, and the types of virus that can cause it. So chronic hepatitis lasts for just, not just, okay, for at least six months, okay? Why the acute one is just a short term, it's just starting, okay? Causes, chronic hepatitis is usually caused by what? The B, C, and D. Why the acute one is caused by all the types, okay? The symptoms, chronic hepatitis often shows no symptoms initially. Why acute one will always start with what noticeable symptoms, okay? That's why it's acute. So that's key for what? The differences between chronic and acute viral hepatitis.